Donald Trump was a corrupt businessman who became a cartoonishly corrupt president and is now facing 91 charges for corruption and fraud, etc., etc. Conservatives on the Supreme Court, especially Clarence Thomas, accept gifts from rich conservative donors like their spoiled kids at their grandmother's house on Christmas morning. And then they laugh at anyone who suggests they should live by a code of ethics. The entire Republican Party is just blatantly corrupt. But thankfully, us hardworking, honest Americans have the Democratic Party to stand up and fight back against this corruption. Shit. Those jowls right there belong to Senator Bob Menendez out of New Jersey. Bob the Briber, or Bob the Bribee. You see, Bob used his position at the Senate Foreign Relations Committee to establish a relationship with Egypt, who bribed him to help pass a $100 million arms deal through the Senate. When the Department of Justice, Biden's deep state, raided his house, he found all types of cash and gold bars, like he just robbed a fucking train in the 1800s or something. Bob said he had all his cash at home because, you know, it was an old habit. He just, he, he didn't really trust banks. He's on the Senate Banking Committee. This is actually the second time Bob's being investigated for corruption. Six years ago, his first trial for corruption ended in a hung jury, and he just missed out on being convicted. And then he won re-election with the full support of the Democratic Party. And here we are six years later, and he's being investigated again, and he's up for re-election again. And he says he's not going to resign. And as of right now, he has the full support of the Democratic Party. Excuse me, not the full support. Two Democratic senators have called on him to resign. Two. You can't claim to be the party of morality, the party that's going to fight the corruption of Donald Trump, one of the most blatantly corrupt presidents in modern history, when you support one of the most blatantly corrupt senators in modern history. It's not fighting corruption when you only fight corruption on the other side. Democrats have to draw a line in the sand. They have to force him to resign. Otherwise, their entire foundation of morality and anti-corruption is simply a house built on sand ready to be swept away at any moment. That was a pretty good metaphor and plan words, if I do say so myself.